Well, Ross, thanks for joining us. It was always going to be tough against the league leaders. Yeah, um, good, good team. Uh, got some very good players. I really, really like what they're about. Um, what has disappointed me the most today is I don't feel we've really uh, imposed us on the, on the game and, and really given ourselves the opportunity to really uh, test ourselves and push ourselves to what we're about against a good team. Um, you know, credit to credit to them. The, the winning goals are absolutely stunning in terms of the way the boy strikes it into the top corner. Um, you know, albeit again, we, we, they dominated possession of the ball, and give away an incredible amount of chances. And I think um, we need to we need to do better in terms of uh, moments in the game when we need to try to get control on the game. We we didn't get good enough balls up to the front, and then when we tried to sort of play it into an area to to help us chase after it and push them back we didn't quite do that well enough I felt that a lot of our sort of clearances and, and, and longer balls if you like went straight down to a, to a Newport player which then meant that they could pick it up quite comfortably and, and, and start another wave of attacks and um, that then doesn't allow us to like I said right there at the beginning get, to impose ourselves and get a control on the game in the manner that we have done uh, in, at times and, and that's going to allow us to create more chances to score more goals and the manner in which the first goal was conceded has got to be very disappointing yeah it, of course it is the answer is yes um, but not in any million in a million years am I going to um, going to question what, what you know what, what's happened on that in terms of our, how it's come around you know Lawrence has come out done well we've done his job to, to intercept and, and for me hasn't completed the pass you know these people as we're walking off saying oh, he's got to smash it down the line Lawrence Vigoro hasn't smashed things down the line all season so it's an easy thing to stand there and say well on this occasion he should have kicked it off well yeah but we haven't been uh, patting him on the back and applauding him for how fantastic he's been all season by just kicking it off he's tried to complete a pass and hasn't young Hector Cipriano we knew he's a good player and it was a good goal wasn't it yeah hopefully people will start understanding when I get excited about this boy because I think that um, he's got an incredible temperament uh, you can see the physical stature the athlete that he is and I thought yes the goal fantastic absolutely delighted for him but I think there were some moments today if you're really watching what he was about where he does things that other kids of his age won't won't be able to do the way he takes the ball under pressure the way he can travel up the pitch with it he can take one or two players out of the game some of the things he does he, he, he's, he's um he's top level stuff so um now he's back now he's you know he's had his time out on the pitch hopefully Tuesday night will be another step in the right direction for him it gives him a real opportunity to kick on now How much of a disappointment is it to be out of the cup when you look at the congestion in terms of league fixtures No it's a disappointment to be out of the cup Dave um, I think it's uh, very easy I said to someone yesterday very easy to forget that we've already had two good cup runs let's not forget that we got to play Tottenham whether we not whether sorry got to that round whether we actually got to play them or not we still reached uh, you know, a strong round in that competition in order to go up against the Premier League opposition which we had ripped away from us. We've progressed in the EFL trophy. Whether anybody actually gives that competition any credibility, you can only progress in it. Um, so we've already had, you know, two steady cup runs but I'm, I'm, I'm really disappointed um, that we haven't progressed today because I felt like there was an opportunity for us to do that. Um, it it, 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 it disappoints me a little bit more in the, in the manner of the performance in the way that we've, we've come out of the competition. Um, of course, now there's a, either a free Saturday or an opportunity to maybe move a Tuesday to a Saturday game that's going to help our fixture list become a little bit more um, more realistic, I suppose. But that by no means is a you know, is a silver lining for me in any way. I'm extremely disappointed in the in the fact that we've been knocked out. But you are through in the trophy, but you still have another game to play. That's on Tuesday against Charlton. How are you going to approach that one? Um, there'll be there'll be changes. There'll be opportunities for people that haven't uh, perhaps played and started today. Um, we've got to be very, very careful, you know. That I had um, some sort of different changes, I suppose, planned for today, but we picked up some injuries in training and we had some real um, fragile legs that meant we had to be extremely careful. So I'll have to weigh up what that looks like in terms of um, making sure we can go out to put a team that we feel is going to be capable of, of going and getting a result against Charlton. Yes, we are already through, but, um, you know, disappointment today means that we need to give 
ourselves uh, the opportunity to, to build a, a positive and a, and a good performance on Tuesday night and then at the same time give one or two players, like I say, that, that, that are not in the team or haven't been in the team the opportunity to do that. Are the injuries beginning to mount? It looks as if Joby McEnough picked up a knock very early on in this one. Yeah, it was quite a severe knock and I think the, uh, the adrenaline sort of got him through to half-time and he felt he was OK to go out to the second half and then to continue. Um, we've got to be extremely careful, as we know, with, with Joby. And, and it's easy to just say, just because of his you know, age and the stage of his career, it's not just that. He suffered a really bad injury that kept him out the whole of last season. So we have to bear that in mind as well, which um, you know, it was disappointing Tuesday night that he wasn't in the team. But we have to take that on the chin sometimes and understand that uh, as however much of an inspirational figure he can be for us, there's going to be times when he's, when he's not available. Is Leanne Gohl and Miles Judd available for Tuesday? No. Um, Leanne Gohl um, is picking up what he's doing. Juddy's probably slightly in front of him. Um, I know there's been a bit of a conspiracy theory going on about Juddy, but Juddy's hamstrings are have set him back two or three times this season, which um, which is frustrating for, for him. I think uh, it was a Wimbledon game, wasn't it, that he played last, and we brought him off to, to protect him a little bit. But in training, he's pulled up a couple of times with hamstring injuries. So we sort of almost had to take him back to, to square one and really rehabilitate him I don't know if that's the right word to say about a hamstring injury but certainly um, slightly ahead of, of Lee uh, I think it'll be a little bit more time week or two before we see Lee back Jordan Thomas feature on Tuesday I hope so uh, Jordan's you know again um, been one that's missed out recently his attitude's been really really good so uh, I would I would expect and, and hope that all going well that that would be a game that we, we get to see Jordan before. and Sam Ling yeah as well like I say um, important for, for Sam and, and Jordan Jordan Maguire drew obviously coming on late today. Josh Wright missed out today. Um, important for those players that they get that opportunity that we take that competition extremely serious in order to put performances in, but give people time out on the pitch. So, yep, yeah, like I say, I think for me it'll have to be to look at who's fit, who's available, who's okay, who's not nursing those little knocks. Dan Appy's been missing today because of that. Um, it's you know to real see what the severity is before I can look at what the shape of the team looks like and who we put out in in it on Tuesday.